slam this season, but England are in their way. Changes to the England team. George Martin comes into the second row, and that means that Ollie Chesson moves back one row and plays at number six. Jamie George continues as the skipper. In the backs, Emmanuel Feiwaboso makes his first start, and Alex Mitchell is back at scrum half after a knee injury. George Ford keeps out the fit again. Marcus Smith, George Furbank retains the full-back shirt. Well, stability and consistency are the watchwords in this Ireland selection. It's the same pack as the one that started against Wales last time out. Dan Sheehan and Ty Byrne both scored tries in Dublin, and Peter O. Mahoney is the captain of Ireland. In the back, Hugo Keenan returns at fullback after injury, then it's same again. The temptation to bring back fit again, Gary Ringrose resisted James Lowe's all round stats for this Six Nations. Amazing. And the replacements on the benches Danny Kerr will win that 100th cap should he come on. Finley Bealham and Ian Henderson missed out for Ireland against Wales. 6 2 split for Ireland. Slam leg four for Ireland at Twickenham. Can the champions make it? And they seem to have spotted a seam right through the centre of that England defence because that's the third time in the first minute and a half they've attacked it. And has really stepped into the Johnny Sexton shirt so comfortably. It's a snug fit. And have won the last four against England, including a Rugby World Cup warm-up game, scoring 32 points twice and 29 points twice. Three of those four Ireland wins coming in Dublin. One here at Twickenham, and already England behind. George Ford with the restart. Marcus Smith fit again, he's on the bench. Here is Bundiaki, player of the match against the Welsh. 16 carries, had a try chalked off. Tagburn, excellent Six Nations for him, two so far in all facets of forward play. James Lowe, they will always use that left boot of his. He's over 1,200 kicking metres so far. And away goes George Furbank. Very much a running fullback. And that is a thundering tackle coming in there on Tommy Freeman. But England still have it through George Ford. Looking to explore that blind side. There is Lawrence. Ollie Lawrence produces the form. He's been showing a bat. And that was Honey Rugby in that wide channel from England. Talking about all the way, Furbank, he's picked oh, to do this, running back, and, and what are they saying? Well, it's the carry, really. Nash feels that all over his body. Then it's just a numbers game. Four to two, four to three. Just go through the hands, do everything you've done in the training paddock since you were four years of age. Dolly Lawrence, you were just on the end of a very good move. Crystal clear. It wasn't so much in uh, in Murrayfield after those first ten minutes, but that is an amazing start. Like I said, they held thresher of a tackle. Here's Doris, and of so many options at first receiver of Ollie, Hor Ollie Lawrence. Well, it looked like he came in from the side there. So Jack Crowley. He actually wore Johnny Sexton's jersey when he played against Australia. Sexton injured very late on, no time to change the shirt, so for Alex Mitchell, good defence for Ireland. Joe McCarthy with the tackle, Ireland resetting fast, as they have to do. Here's Ollie Lawrence, puts it into the space, Furbank on the chase. Here is another try for Ollie Lawrence. Knock on. Can we slow Call down, the just check thing? Yeah, right, Ben, we are on the knock on here, just got his hands time on for it. A... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like it's gone, and it's yeah. gone forward, so. I'll leave that one for referee and touch judges and the TMO. Who is Ben Whitehouse? Is there any argument for Frawley pulling it backwards? No, because he's got control. Frawley had the one hand on it, then Fairbank had two hands on it, and then it's gone forward from two hands, so. 
So it's going to be no trial. We've got and to you, I've seen, seen him back. not given, I've so seen him given. No, no, no. We are forward to down down. There's also a check, we believe, on right, a clear no out. Try. No call. Uh, we're waiting for a for I think that was from um, Big Joe McCarthy got cleaned out totally. Or did he put a big hit in on Genge? Yeah, we took that. It's just like these things to be sped up a little bit. Just, right. just you're losing all the momentum out of this game. George Ford, Freeman now, yeah. Chesham. Good line, aggressive line. Ireland over the ball for the turnover. And it's the inimitable shape. He yeah, can play in the back, he can play wherever. Such a strong forward. A strong back. Could be a strong forward. No. Oh, yes. yes. He did not strike. Well, clearly, he didn't strike that one. It's been so accurate in this championship, as is Ronan Keller, who's on the bench. Peter Whoa. O'Mahony, relatively quiet yeah. first half for him. They are the captain. He normally loves playing against England, doesn't he? He's saying a few now. words, but yes, he has been quiet, and that's credit to England's back row, I think. Use it! He makes a bit of nurgle, just Peter O'Mahony. Jemison gives him part. And it's brilliantly taken in the air by Hugo Keenan. And I'm so delighted to see him restored. Here's Callum Doris. There's space now outside for Ireland. Here is Henshaw. Crawley for James Lowe. Ireland mighty Laird. And merciless again, as they have been throughout this championship. And it's James Lowe on the end of it again. Crucial with his exits and his long kicking. He's not too bad scoring a tries, and this is what happens. Ball goes up in the air. You don't get it, then Ireland now, it's just... Again, is it that blitz defence that England are trying to adapt? It, it, it's helter-skelter at the moment, because people are going out, they're jumping out the line. And that's Sam Finnish, he loves running into the flag. It doesn't matter, you can touch the flag, no problem. Well, we'll just sh make sure that's lovely. <laughs> well, one of the reasons, of course, why Steve Borthwick wanted him back on the side to deal with that threat. He was so good against South Africa, George Martin, in that World Cup semi-final as a physical specimen. Tackle from Keenan on Ollie Lawrence. Faye Wiboso. Tackle! Good first half he had, 49 metres off five carries. England again, he is under Hill to a Tosi. No, the opportunity! And it's George Burbank who collapses the Ireland defence. They found that space on the edge. And England capitalise. A good response, great power. Oh, he's in touch. Has he let that ball go? They'll have to look at this. I think he's let that ball go just before. They'd be mad not to look at it. But again, it's a flowing move. As Ireland like to flow, use the ball. There was no way Frawley was going to uh, stop yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Good hands, out of contact. Two forwards, yeah, balance yeah, combining forwards and backs. Furback knows he's got it. He's licking his lips. Good score. It looks to me they're not looking at that time. There goes Ben Earl! Crashing and thundering his way through an Irish defence. They're in behind the green. Good. That has got to be a penalty. And it really should be a yellow card against O'Mara. Because that is a thoroughly professional wait. foul. It will be. That's wait, what they were brought wait. in for. He doesn't oh, have to warn him. Oh, he thinks it's... Well, we will see. We're we'll listening to the referee. Time is off. Hey, hang on, hang on. He's going to come. Right. We were listening. No, uh, sorry, sir. I don't need you here, please. Apologies, sir. All right, it's a line break. You dived over the rock and you got a ball. That's a cynical after the line break. Absolutely. Second yellow card in the row for the Ireland captain. Such an engine, too. Alex Mitchell. Tried to hit the offload away. Chesson. Can't score it against the post anymore, at the base there. of the post, to be more accurate. Mitchell, England now! England score! And it's Ben Who bundles over the line! What a world tour! Flash and boom! For that England number eight! Roll away! Murray! Trying to create the numbers on the outside, Ireland, by... Sucking in those England defenders. 
Here's Murray again. Henderson, Crowley. Here it is for James Lowe. And Ireland again. Clinical in the Goldilocks zone. And it's James Lowe with another one. Only put up. Again, it was too easy, really, for them. Was it two, three phases? The ball's out the back from Henderson. Crawley, Gibson Park, and then trying to hide Marcus Smith. Not the greatest tacklers in the game. On the wing, doesn't pay out when you've got a big, big one against a small one. Just uses his way into the tackle. Gets that ball both in hands again. He's seen him score one just closer to the post. That could be it. I'll never say never, England have fought today. Centurion, Kerr, Theodan. Hugely mobile. Roll away. England replacement hooker. I'm not rolling away. Roll away. On the halfway line. Oh dear. Right for a jacket, throw away first. Well, I can assure you, yeah. nobody's no. leaving the no. stadium. Hang so. It seems to be into the breeze. Oh, it's drifting away. Oh, it had the distance, all right. James Lowe taking plenty of time. Clock no, drifts no, 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 into no, no, the red. No, no, no. No, lost it! Nothing lost sensible, it. nothing Atlanta, stupid, just be sensible, just one out, just play one out, there's a pen coming. It's a flash penalty, it's a new penalty, it's a much easier kick. Marcus Smith! <laughs> Edlund on full beam at Twickenham. Marcus Smith with the dazzling light, and they promised a Twickenham roar. Oh my heavens, they've got one! There you go, my boy. Normally known for scoring tries. This time he's dropped a girl, I'm getting quite <laughs>